you guys, I am Nand Kishore Swami and today we will be learning about automating Windows application uh, using OpenSpan. And for this particular tutorial we would be using an application that is called as CRM. And the step uh, we are trying to automate is to launch the application, enter the credentials and click on the login button. Once uh, the application is logged in, we are going to click on the user1 button uh, to generate a new call window. So these are, these are the steps we are trying to automate using OpenSpan. So let's get started. Open your OpenSpan Studio. Go to File, New, Project, and create a new project. Give a name. So we are trying to automate a CRM app automation. So the first step is to create the control of uh, application that we are trying to automate. So right click on your project, go to add, click on new item and choose Windows application. So uh, the first step is to add the adapter that can communicate with our Windows application. And that adapter would help us to create the control of uh, the application that we are trying to manipulate. Click on add. So adapter has been added. Now go to the property window. Find the property that uh, is called as path and click on the ellipse button. So here we need to define the path from uh, uh, which the application would be accessed or the exe would be accessed. So uh, we are trying to automate CRM and CRM exe is located under the control and the program files under OpenSpan and CRM setup. This is the setup that you will uh, get by default or the training setup with OpenSpan uh, Studio uh, setup files. Click on exe, click on open. You can find the path here now. And click on start interrogation. It will launch the application. And now we need to create the controls that we are trying to automate. So drag and drop your bullseye, uh, the integrations bullseye on the control that we are trying to manipulate. So the first one is username. Just drag and drop on the username. It will automatically create the control. If you want to change the name of the control, you can suddenly go to the property window and change it to txt user name and the second control that we are trying to manipulate is password so drag and drop on the password window it's automatically created here and the third one is login login button and once we use these control the next step is to log in and click on the user1 button here to open the new call window. So we need the user1 control. So now you can see the user1 control is also created here. So these are the controls that we are going to manipulate using OpenSpan. So all the controls are being created here. Now click on the stop interrogation. And now, second step, once you created all the uh, control, the second step is to automate this step. So right click on your project, not on the solution, always right click on your project, add a new item, and this time the item is automation. Click on add. Now, the steps that we are trying to automate, what would be the first step? First step is to launch the application. So how the application would be launched? If you go back to your CRM, uh, 
Windows application adapter, you will find a property that is called as start application on launch. So look for the property here. Oh, sorry, it's a user one selected. So select the CRM. The correct object and look for start on project start. Set this to true. So it will automatically launch your application. If you set it to false, it will not launch the application. So we need to manually launch the application or we need to automate uh, to launch the application as well. So right now it's set to true. So it will automatically launch the application. And the second step is to enter the credentials. So the first step is launch the application. We already set the uh, launch application on the project start. So application would automatically launch. But we need to wait until application is launched. So when application launch, the first form that would come up is login form. Then we need to wait until uh, or we need to trigger our uh, automation until that form is created. So our automation trigger is that login form is created. Go to the login, choose created event. On the created event, we will start or trigger our automation. And next step is to enter the credential. So to enter the credential, we have two options. Either we can have this hard-coded here, or we can uh, supply the credential uh, using variable, or we can use a property that is called as a credential under CRM. Go back to your uh, adapter, choose CRM and go back to the property window and look for credential property and click on ellipsis button and create credential here click on add and just make sure you use this uh, autofill on create uh, is true so once those control would be created it will automatically fill the values and assign the login control that would be the login button. So it will, when you click on the drop down button, it will automatically filter out all the control, uh, button control, and you need to choose the appropriate or right control here. Similarly, it will filter out all the label controls or text controls. So this is password, so choose your password control. And the next one is username control, so choose username control. Click on OK. So the user ID and uh, password is already been supplied and login button is clicked. So the next thing is we need to wait until the next window or the child window get created. And the child window name is CRM subtract open span and we need to wait until this window is created. Or we can also use uh, the next control that we are trying to uh, click on is user1. So we can wait for uh, the user1 control get created. Once this control is created, we're going to perform a click on the user1 control. So let's add the process flow and particularly here we are not using any data flow since the credentials would be supplied by uh, the CRM adapter itself. So save it and run your automation now. So when you run the application first time it will prompt you to enter your credential to so just supply your credential. Click on OK. It will automatically lock the application and click on the user one button. 
and the credentials applying is only the one time activity next time it will automatically remember your credential and automatically log into the application and if you want to trigger the application on a button quick then you need to go ahead and just add a window form Click on Add and go to Toolbar. From Toolbox, just choose a button and now go back to your automation. And now, here what we are trying to do is launch the application on a button click, then automatically log in and go uh, click on the User One uh, button. So go back to the CRM adapter and again find the property that has a start on project start. Start on project start. Set it to false. So now application would not be launched on the project start button or the project start event. So go back to your uh, now we would like to uh, launch our application on a button click and uh, perform the other task. So click on the button and look for the event click. Once this button is clicked, the next step is to start the CRM application. So to, uh, click on the CRM and go to the methods and Choose start method. Connect the process. So once it is started, it will uh, create the login page, and from the login form, it will perform these tasks. So let's start the application. Once your form is launched, just click on the button, and it will automatically launch the application. Login and click on the user one. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.